Welcome to Let's Discover India. In this episode of our Chardham series, we will take you to Tungnath, the highest Shiva temple, and Chandrashila, the highest peak in the region. We have included all the links to our Chardham videos in the description below. Be sure to check them out. After visiting Kali Math and Ukhi Math, we spent a night in Chopta. We began our hike to Tungnath at approximately 6 in the morning. Tungnath is a beautiful trek amidst nature that offers diverse and stunning landscapes. The trek to Tungnath is approximately 4 km long and Chandrashila is 1 km above Tungnath. The Tungnath trek passes through a beautiful Devda tree jungle, making it a comfortable and pleasant trek. Unlike Kedarnath, the number of horses obstructing the path and dirtying the track is significantly less here. The first kilometer of the trek takes you through a dense Devdar forest. The first two kilometers of the trek are not relatively steep. We trekked comfortably, feeling slightly tired from the trek of Kedarnath. After trekking two kilometers, we stumbled upon a breathtaking meadow surrounded by snow-capped mountains. We could not resist spending time here. It felt worldly to lie on the grass in the mild sun, enjoying the amazing view of the Himalayan mountains. After taking a break for half an hour, we resumed our march forward. The next two kilometers of the trek take you through the beautiful flower valley of Buranj, where rhododendron plants grow in large numbers. Tungnath is the most popular trek loved equally by pilgrims, nature enthusiasts and adventurers. A significant portion of the movie Kedarnath featuring Sushant Singh and Sara Khan was filmed in this area due to its open and spacious nature. Additionally, it is less crowded. As you climb higher, the view gets better and better. The authorities have created a circular track around the hill, but most people prefer to take shortcuts. 
Shortcut trails are faster but more strenuous, consuming more energy. When you see these railings, the Tungna temple is nearby. The last two kilometers of the trek are very steep. We have found a room in the Kali Kamli Mat. There are a few rooms in the temple premises as well. Most people return on the same day and only the nature enthusiasts who want to witness the Chandrashila sunrise stay here. It is advisable to arrive early at Tungnath to secure a room. If rooms are not available, you can return later. However, if you arrive late and rooms are already occupied, you will be in trouble. At around 5 pm, we walked to the Tungnath temple. There were only a few people inside as most of the visitors from Chopta had returned. We had a comfortable and pleasant darshan of Lord Tungnath. The priest informed us that the Aarti ceremony will take place at 7 pm. We stayed at the temple and enjoyed a magnificent view of the sunset. While we were admiring the beauty of the Himalayan mountains, the priest rang the bell to signal the time for Aarti. A gathering of 10 to 12 individuals joined us for the Aarti. We had some nervous moments at Chandrashila as the clouds had some other plans. Dark clouds surfaced all over the Himalayan peaks, possibly ruining our plans to view the sunrise yet again. We missed the sunrise during our previous visit by half an hour time. Some hope rose as the clouds cleared just above the peaks and we witnessed some parts of the sky being painted orange. Suddenly there was a loud cheer among anxious visitors as the sun peeped through the mountains. There were no words to explain the joy of the Sakshat Darshan of Surya Dev, the Sun God. The view of the glittering Himalayan mountains was mind-blowing. It reminded me of the description of Meru Parvat in the ancient Puranas. The Surya Dev appeared for about five minutes and disappeared in the clouds. No regrets. We had an unforgettable experience at Chandrashila. The clouds partially left the mountains as the sun rose and visibility of the Himalayan peaks became clear. From the summit of Chandrashila, you can enjoy the panoramic views of Himalayan peaks on one hand and green top mountains on the other.
you can see nanda devi the second highest mountain of india trishul a group of three mountain peaks of western kumao with the highest reaching 7120 meters kedar peak a mountain peak in the gangotri group of mountains in the western gadwal himalayan region bandar punch a major peak of bandar punch range in the western gadwal himalayan region of uttarakhand state of india chaukhamba the highest peak in the group of gangotri peaks these piling stones or stone stacks also known as canes is a common practice in many parts of the world including himalayas there are several meanings of these stone stacks in different places and cultures however in places like chandrashila it may be an offering a wish or a prayer to the sun mountains clouds and the entire prakriti the nature here it comes our companion finally got on top of the summit a small temple is built with stones on top of the summit probably it's ganga temple if i remember correctly and yes it is this peak at chandrashila looks like a giant old lion look how clear and precise are the eyes nose mouth and beard after spending a couple of hours on this heavenly summit we descended back to tungnath on our trek down we came across fellow trekkers coming from chokta friends my advice to all the trekkers who want to see sunrise in chandrashila should trek early from chopta and stay overnight in tongnath there were some patches of glaciers here and there on the way Tulsi is checking how hard is the glacier with her staff. She is enjoying it. On the far end of the mountain, we noticed a dark formation of clouds. It took no time to realize that we were walking on clouds listen to the sound of the wind and see the floating clouds also then on the eastern side of the mountain i noticed a cluster of clouds floating and vanishing to the force of the wind I recorded a short timeline video of that wonderful view. As Tulsi was not able to withstand the freezing breeze, we quickly marched down. When we were almost at the temple, it started drizzling. This allowed me to take some shots of the temple. Tungnath is located at an altitude of 3680 meters that is 12073 feet above sea level. Tungnath is one of the highest Shiva temples in the world and highest of the Panchkedar temples as well. Tungnath is a term in the local language that means lord of the peak. In some interpretations it also means limbs of the lord as tung means 
limbs and Nath means the Lord. According to the legend of Kedar Khan, the limbs of the Lord Shiva, who took the form of a Nandi, appeared here. Hence the name Tungnath. Tungnath temple is built in Kedarnath style of architecture with granite and stones. Right in front of the temple is a giant Trishul and a lion on top of the temple entrance. The temple opens for pilgrimage during the summer and remains closed during winter. However, the trek to Tungnath and Chandrashila remains open in winter for adventure enthusiasts. We then move down to have some hot chai. No matter how you make it, chai looks like an Amrit in this kind of altitude and weather. Our brother is making some hot tea and Maggie for us. Here comes our hot Maggie. After breakfast, we packed our bags and trekked down to Chopta to our next destination. Thanks for watching the video. Do subscribe to the channel if you like it.